Okay, everybody, welcome back. I'm going to open up part two of the uh, Return of the Jedi series two, another 12 packs, and I want to apologize for somehow making a 34 minute video opening up 12 packs. And so I'm going to try and go faster. And I'll start by uh, going and, and uh, the elephant in the room here. I'm just going to try these out. Don't laugh, but I am trying out some white gloves as if this is like fine jewels or something that I am uh, dealing with today. I've got some other gloves on order, some some uh, rubber gloves. Um, these are kind of thermosilk inserts for other gloves. Uh, I'm going to try them out on these Return of the Jedi Series 2, and uh, that way I will know whether they work or if they somehow maybe damage any cars or snag things for when I'm opening up the Series 1. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pull out the next 12, and I'm going to do a little bit what I learned from, so I don't get maybe the repeats on the same video here, but I'm going to take like four from here, and I'll take four from here, and then I'll take four from there. Perfect snag, which should lead me 12 for part three. This is a couple days later. Put that there. Um, and so I, I did thinking back, you know, I enjoyed very much, got a few good cards, nothing, nothing amazing. I don't think I have too many kind of tens that I'm, uh, you know, counting on certainly from, from it. I'm just going to move this up here just a touch. Uh, but we are, I'm enjoying looking at those, you know, cards for the first time. I'm going to go ahead and crack into it here. God, I feel like that's. Went it awfully high again, too. Sorry. Should have had the studio all set up before I got here. But, um, yeah. Let's see how these gloves work out, you know. And, uh, yeah, the, the, what is it? The, the woodworking outdoorsman mentioned that, uh, some of these nitrile rubber gloves are good as far as they got, you know, decent grip on the cards. And so I took under his tutelage, uh, his advisement to get those. And so those are coming and we'll try those out and uh, see how they work out for uh, possibly using them on the Series 1. So let's just get into it. We've got Corridors of the Imperial Destroyer. I'm going to make my new stack here for this. We got the dreaded Rancor. Surrounded by Ewoks. Still low. Still continuing the trend, it seems like, that these are a little ill-centered here. Jabba the Hutt on the sail barge. The approach of Wicket. There we go, There's something a little better centered. Okay, R2 on Endor. That looks pretty nice. I don't see any real issues by my naked eyes that are not as good these years. That's cool. Mooring guard profile. That's neat. How cool is that? All right, here's another one of these, and this looks pretty centered off the get-go. Let's take a look a little bit better here. Pretty nice looking so far. So good. That's cool. Path to Destiny. Yeah, and, you know, just talking about, you know, the uh, old protagonist. I'm going to put that in the good stack, too. Just mentioning how it seems like what he's seen and and uh, over the, his years is that the um, the most popular ones are... The victors with the three, I think I got one of those. It was not centered too well. Um, and also, of course, the title card. So, you know, I've got a, a little bit of an, more of an eye out for those. Of course, Boba Fett, I'm sure, is popular and this sort of thing. But once again, if, if, if your game, this isn't a get-rich game, that's for sure. It's just called a have-fun game. Um, I just feel like I have to make that disclaimer all the time. I'm not sitting here trying to open these up to go sell and make a fortune. I'm opening them up for the enjoyment of just looking at them, kind of 
that these are being seen, really, if you will, for the first time. That's really neat. But um, the most popular ones, at least what he is, and I'm sure the proof is in the pudding when it comes to sales on eBay, seems to be the victors for this set as well as the title card. And here is the title card right behind it, which looks like it has seen better days as far as these. I see some, see some white up there in the top left. <clears throat> and it's a little to the right, but that's a cool one. Like, I remember that movie poster, too. Absolutely do. I'll put that here, not in the top-notch stack. The Captive Princess. And yeah, a couple of the comments from, you know, PJ telling me that it's it's Reyes. Look, I did not remember that, but of course when I hear it, when I see it in your comment, I just want to slap myself. Of course I know it's Reyes. I remember his three and three-quarter character like it was yesterday. And, uh, you know, it just comes flooding back when you when you hear it. Same thing with uh, Salacious Crumb, <laughs> you know, seeing that. When I get that, uh, when I get that kind of corrected. Um, also, like Weequay, the dude with this, you know, the red head and the long pony. Here we go. Dog on it. It's a little high again. It's a little kind of a weird printing in the bottom left of the word boba. As far as the smudge. It's that same line. Look at the right above his kind of his viewfinder, if you will, Boba Fett, but south of the lightsaber, there's a horizontal brighter line, and that is on the other one that I have. So I wonder if that's just in all of them, you know, or of course it could be just my box. Here we go. Captured. Love it. All right. Okay, right there. Oh. So maybe these, because these are more of a uh, different fabric slash cotton, you know, they're a little bit of a fabric note all. But it's certainly not rubber, and I could I could see how these uh, nitrile gloves would have a little bit more of a tactile benefit than these than these. But uh, Wicket looking nice, you know, hundred percent have to send some of these stickers off. I just don't know. I don't think they're all that desirable um, as far as a collector's item. I know they they kind of really aren't for me personally either. You know, I never really did stick them on my binder or anything like that when I was in, you know, I guess what this year was, uh, you know, 83 when it came out and I was like nine years old. I might have tended to do it, but I just maybe didn't make that commitment to using up these stickers. Of course, like I've already said, I didn't open these cards. I just didn't even think about these. I was much more into the sports stuff. Here's a cool one, but it's a little south on the location of the card arrival of the emperor here's that weird one again Hor headquarters frigate i just don't remember this i just you know like i showed the surprise i just do not remember that one okay luke skywalker the jedi pretty well centered pretty well centered there's a little bit of a right in the kind of his sternum there's a little bit of a mark i think you can see that right there Here's another face of terror. Here's the hulking Gamorrean guard. I do like this one. Reunion at Endor. It's so cool. I think it's it's obviously mini scale, but it's made in uh, in real life. There's just a mini scale version of it, which is so cool. Here's another one of these. It's really neat. But there's a little bit of it right there at the bottom middle. You can see that. Very cool. Okay, moving right along. Been seeing some of the comments and suggestions possibly on how to open the Series 1 box. You know, coming a little closer to the determination of 
definitely breaking up into minimum thirds, you know, and maybe make one kind of overall, you know, uh, one overall longer fold. There's another Boba Fett. Seems to be centered a lot better. Hmm. I'll put that over here for just a second. Make sure to not get these gloves to snag anything. It'd be crazy. But maybe you just, you know, you want to have one video where it's all together, you know, and it's it's not a, uh, it's not a views grab. I'm not certainly trying not to, uh, you know, necessarily get monetized or anything like that. It's not about that. I'm truly just enjoying cracking these babies. Um, but for some people who like to, and I'm I'm really one of them. You know, I've watched plenty of videos that I just get lost into the the length of it, and you just let it play while you're doing stuff, and you've got stuff in the background. And sometimes the 20 minute videos, I will kind of steer by and just kind of go, nope, it's not long enough. Or I go on a really long walk or run, and I like to just have it playing and listen to the audio of the of the YouTube. Um, oh, here we go. Come on, baby. It's another off to the right. So this is the third one. And because this set is not that many cards, was it 90? It was like cards 133 to 220. So it was less. I might get another one of these as far as like averages. That is good looking. It's just off to the right. You know, I wouldn't get anything better than a nine. Um, if even if it was perfect. Here we go. Here's the Boba Fett, which I just, I love it. All right, what do we got here? It is to the right, but it looks pretty nice in the other in the other uh, departments here. Let me just check the back just for, yeah, I mean, it's not centered correctly, but really cool, really cool. Only had one of the victors, like the victors as uh as we've talked about, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Warrior. I might have had one other of those. Thoughts of the Jedi. Thoughts of a Jedi. Bizarre alien creatures. Cool. Number 12. <clears throat> I did get, I think I had gotten the name on Max Rebo correctly. That is the, the blue dude, which is a pretty coveted Lego character um, as far as the Star Wars Legos are concerned. It's pretty pretty rare guy. only comes in, I think, one set, but very nice. Okay. Collection of creatures. I've seen that. They were all just posing for that shot. That's certainly not an actual... I don't remember that scene in the actual Jedi. Han Solo is alive. Here we go. The Courageous Jedi to the right. Death Star. Who wouldn't love a cool Death Star shot? You know? Where's Princess Leia? Escorted to the Ewok village. Above the Sarlacc pit. Hmm. Okay, here's your here's your girl. <laughs> or it. Size snoodles. Down and to the left. So funny. Here we go. I love this card. Let's see, does it have some damage on it too? It's a little bit of a printing, kind of red spot near his heart. Uh, but of course, off center a touch. Hmm. I'm going to look at it again. Here's Darth Vader awaiting his majesty, waiting for the emperor. A little low. All right. Makes it a little tougher to get these wrappers perfectly detached. But let's see. Boom. Put that over here. Okay. 
rescuing Han Solo. The young Jedi Knight. Man, these are, I would say, way more than not off-center. You know what I mean? So this is considered a box that it was not centered. <clears throat> okay, sail barge battle. Friends of the Alliance. And look at the color difference, too. I mean, can you see that that's, this one's much darker blue than the next card's border? Right? Interesting. Okay. The Imperial Fleet. There's that one. Lando Calrissian in disguise. It's centered pretty nicely. Maybe a touch left. Then you have, that's right, part of the uh, Max Rebo band. Is you got, of course, Cy Snoodles at, at lead. And then you have good old Droopy McCool. Guests of Jabba the Hutt. Droopy McCool. Halfway done. I'm going to try to pick up the pace just a little bit. Gloves are doing okay. I would say not perfect, you know. But it's a little tough to maneuver. But it's definitely keeping the uh, grease off these things here. R2-D2, spelled like phonetic. Job of the Hut on the sail barge, a little to the left here. Okay, the approach of Wicket. Here's another one of this. It's the three-quarter view. The Interceptor. Star Lovers. I know I just have one, maybe other one of that. Admiral Akbar's Defenders. Looking for another The Victors. I'd like to get another one of those. The Royal Droid. Village of the Ewoks. Deadly Plunge. R2 on Indoor. Had this one before. Here we go. There's a cool one. But off to the right. Right. Come on, baby. Let's see. What do we got in this one? Got an Emperor sticker. Really clean stickers. Just not used to it. Just not used to it. Princess Leia has the force. Rebel cruiser. Here's Vader. Corridors of the Imperial, Imperial Destroyer. Off center is your boy the Rancor. Surrounded by Ewoks. Hope everybody has been warm where they are. I know the weather is crazy everywhere with that Arctic surge that came through. It is definitely the holiday season. It's just a, a day after Christmas over here. Um, Path to Destiny. Man, that's a pretty card, but it's just a little low. Confronting their destiny. Okay, so it's almost like in sequence, right? In the elevator. Getting out of the elevator. And that is not what happens afterwards. Master of the Court. Okay. That's good looking. I just see a little bit of a surface issue on the bottom right there on the blue border. It's kind of like a dent. It's worth looking at with a finer tooth comb. Horrendous creep. I kind of don't remember that guy for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, inside Jabba the Hutt's palace. Four left. Try not to tear these. <clears throat> An ill-centered backside. Oh, 
Okay, sticker of Han all tied up. About to be a nice rotisserie. Okay, where's Princess Leia? Seen it. Is Han Solo giving up there at the, uh, the Battle of Endor? In front of the little bomb shelter or the control area. The Jaws of Death. The Ewok Village. Oh, here we go. The Imperial Shuttle. That would be cool. The Imperial Shuttle. Hmm. It's one of my, uh, one of my grail sets that we do not have as a family unit here is the Imperial Shuttle in Lego. That is a sweet set. Han Solo is in trouble. Alert to danger. Their secret revealed. Princess Leia intercedes. All these Ewok uh, scene shots. I haven't seen too many like on on the little uh, speeder bikes or anything. We've got three packs left here in this 12. I'd love to get another Victor's. I'd love to see another title card. Show me some more Boba Fett's. I only think I have two of the Boba Fett's. I've kind of by, by the law of averages, am owed, I would say, a couple more. Here we go. Repeat of that sticker straight off the bat. What do we got here? Another Death Star. Where's Princess Leia? There's another one. This is kind of a repeat pack here, it seems like. It says Insan Solo given up there. Another Jaws of Death. Ewok Village total repeat pack here, it seems like. Okay, Luke Skywalker off center, but nonetheless, here we go. What's his thoughts of Jedi? Okay, another bizarre alien creatures. That's old yak face there. There's Max Rebo, and you got the uh, Drippin' McCool to his left. Very cool. Okay, Gamorrean Guard emerges. I think he's what leading Luke, leading Luke into the room. Okay. <clears throat> Last two packs, then I will try to get to the bottom third of this and post that, uh, and then we can get our way to, um, well, I should have a return here coming real quick, too. Series 5 should be happening. PDQ, Series 5 uh, reveal from PSA, then... Uh, we'll get to my Return of the Jedi Series 3. And yes, we might be, you know, kind of interrupted with some fun reveals of PSA uh, along the way, but we will get to Series 1. It is coming. That is a promise. Rescuing Han Solo. I'm just... I, I, I seem to be not putting many cards back there on the uh this stack to be reevaluated because they're just so off center you know what i mean front view wicket and princess leia that one's centered pretty nicely actually is that a big ding right there right there. no i guess not i'll just put it back here to check it out later alert to danger their secret revealed Princess Leia intercedes, and then another escorted to the Ewok village. And last pack for today, I'm in danger. I'm sitting here at 25 minutes. Um, I'll start trying to wrap it up here pretty quick. Like I said, uh, I'm going to sign off here after this pack, after I get a couple of sweet cards that are centered perfectly and no facial issues or surface issues like that is a really nice c-3po sticker here's another rancor not centered perfect surrounded by ewoks 
Still he is. Job of the hut on the sail barge. Little low. It says the approach of wicket. Here's that three quarter view of the interceptor. Okay, here's another deadly plunge of the at the Sarlacc pit. That one's actually centered nicely. We'll take a look at it. Here's another size Snoodle lead singer. Cool. Look at that. I'll take this guy. A little to the right. But looks very clean. Maybe just a little bit of a dimple, but like I said, I'll scrutinize it on my time. Darth Vader shot and then the Imperial Fleet. All right. Let me get to these last three real quickly. Post this guy in there for you. Um, hope everybody is having a still a great break. Uh, it's not New Year's yet over here. But um, I thank you very much for your continued watching, continued comments, and positive remarks. I've had a couple of comments like, really enjoyed your video, and you're doing a really good job speaking. There's no way. You guys are just being awfully nice. But uh, still enjoying it. Thank you for watching, whoever it is. And uh, we will see you very, very soon. Okay? Bye-bye.